Darren Jones is the Shadow Chief Secretary to the Treasury and is a bit of a rising star within the Labour Party. In questions to the Chancellor, he gets Jeremy Hunt really rattled and you can hear the quivering of his voice as he tries to deflect his answer. The Tories know they're in trouble over this PPE scandal. They've already written off a few billion pounds in fraud and the Covid inquiry is going to be looking at the PPE VIP lane, but probably not until 2025 when it looks like there will be a Labour government. And although they can say it right now that they did everything they could, by the time the Covid inquiry gets to the module on PPE, if they need anything from the government, any records or documentation, I can't imagine there's going to be any problem handing them over. Whereas at the moment, the Tories are doing everything they can to try and cover their back. They're refusing to give over WhatsApp messages, and Jeremy Hunt's trying to claim that they're doing everything to tackle all fraud cases. But here we go, here's Darren Jones getting right under Jeremy's skin. Uh, Mr Speaker, the public have a right to know why so many billions of pounds of their taxes have been wasted by this government. Baroness Moan has claimed today that Conservative ministers knew about her personal connection to the company PPE Medro from the very beginning. So why didn't the government correct the record when a misleading picture was being painted in the media about Baroness Moan's personal connection to PPE Medro in the first place? Chancellor. Well, I'm not going to comment on allegations by Baroness Moan or indeed on the individual case, but let me say this. Uh, we put together a task force of over 1,000 people that opened 46,000 investigations and have made so far over 80 arrests. So we will stop at nothing to tackle uh, fraud and bring to justice anyone who was responsible for wrongdoing. But what we did in a moment of extreme crisis was to make sure we got PPE to the front line as quickly as we could, and had we not done so, many more lives would have been lost. Durham Jones. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We all know that Baroness Moan's enrichment via PPE Medro is subject to an investigation, but that doesn't allow ministers to refuse to answer questions here in the House today. So let me ask another. Baroness Moan's husband, Doug Barrowman, alleged that in November 2022, he was approached by a government official asking if they would, quote, pay more for the other matter to go away. Is this specific and incredibly serious claim now being investigated, and if so, by whom? Chancellor, uh, if he has got any evidence of people behaving improperly or illegally, then he should tell the police, and he will get the full support of this government and, indeed, uh, the whole uh, House in bringing the matter to justice. But let me just say to him, any responsible opposition should understand that in a crisis there is a trade-off between speed and taking longer to prevent fraud. We took the right decision to save as many lives as possible. Maybe the journalists need to take some inspiration from Darren Jones, because in the video that's on screen now, they have some really pathetic questions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.